Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. And my question to you is, are you still using a church program? As if you are, how many of those things do you actually print out? As the advances of technology are coming around, I want to show you how to make a still use a church program if you want to do that. But since a lot more people are used to QR codes and downloads and all this other stuff, we're going to turn that into something that is very easy to be done so people can just scan and get the church program. You don't have to worry about printing out as many programs as you used to. You can still print them out if you want to, but let's get away from getting all this paper stuff and let's just show you how easy it is to do. So let's go ahead and cut over the computer and we're gonna make this really, really simple. All right, so the first thing is I don't have access to a program. <laughs> so I went here to Canva and just made one real quick. So this is my church program that I just made. And if you're already making something like in Word, um, so for example, if I come in here to Word or Publisher or whatever that you got, let's just say it's Word that you got that you're using. And I'll use my book that is still coming out. <laughs> I can come in here and say I want to print it, right? And we can just as easily come in here and typically you would have a print to PDF option and it can print it as a PDF. So you don't have to worry about buying new software to turn it into a PDF. You could always scan it if you have access to a scanner, but just know that that is very easy for you to do. Or like I had, I just made one in Canva and um, you know, we got all this other stuff here. So it doesn't really matter. So it's two ways you can do this. So what we can do, is first go to Dropbox or Drive or something like that. I like to use Drive. And um, especially if this is under the church's media account, if you have a Google account for your media, which I highly recommend, we can come in here and let's just make a folder. And I'll say, call it church program. And I'm gonna do this a couple of ways just to show you. So I'm gonna put this here and then I want to set that file inside this folder. All right, we just upload it. And then I want to make this file shareable. Now the beauty of doing this, you just gotta make sure that when you make revisions to your church program, that the name stays exactly the same, then you don't have to make this link over and over again. And I think I clicked copy link instead of share. Um, so we'll just do share. And we're gonna make this anyone with the link can see it. All right, so we got that done. And that's it. So in the future, if somebody wants to make a new update, they just gotta drop it in the folder. Dropbox is the exact same way. And we put it here and we're gonna copy the link. All right. Now the next thing, I like using this um, because it's free. Um, we're gonna go to bit.ly.com. And we're gonna make a link. I already have an account with them. Um, I have a paid account, but this can be done with the free one. We're gonna come over here to create new. And we're gonna create a QR code. And all we're gonna do is that link that we just copied, we're gonna paste that there. And that is for the church program. And we're just gonna say prototype church program. You don't have to give it a name. I just do. And it pulled the name actually from the file. So we got it there. And if you have the paid one, you can actually make this link be something different if you want to. But we're doing this for the QR code. So we don't really care of the link. Let's go ahead and design our code. Now again, I have the paid one, so some of the options, most likely you're gonna have a Bitly logo in the center. Mine, I can actually remove the logo, but it would look something like this. But again, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna turn it off. You could change the color if you want to, how you're gonna make it look, and you know, nothing real serious. I mean, and the good thing is you only gotta do this once. So I'm just gonna pick this one and I'm actually going to do I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with this I want these little ones right here so now that I've done that we're gonna create the code there we go we download that and now that is just what you got to do 
to put there. So for example, say we, let's use presenter. And maybe we want to make a slide that will be shown at the beginning of the service. So let's make something real quick. And I'm just going to make something real, real simple. And let's go ahead and add our code. As you see, I've made these before. And we're just going to bring this in here. And we want to make it kind of big so you can have access to it. We're just going to put it here to the side. Let's do some text here. And let's blow this up a little bit more. And let's just say scan to get, or let's say scan for church program. Something real simple, right? You know, I'm not trying to be super, super fancy. Of course, we will put a background and all this other fun stuff here. You change the color and make it stand out and all this other stuff. So, um, you know what, before I get beat up, let's just go ahead and do that anyway. I'll just do this kind of background here and let's do a border around this just to make it stand out just a little bit more. And again, this don't got to have nothing to do with this, but this is just my kick in of how I want stuff to look. So please ignore that or give me some patience. <laughs> so we got our slide there. Let's download that. And we're going to bring this into presenter. So you can make this a slide for a part of your announcements. So when you're having a slide go in, um, when you're doing your announcements or whatever, that's how it can work. So let's just bring this in real quick just to show you how this works. And I'm using Presenter, but you can use this on any program that you want. And there we go. So there's our church program. So if I bring this up so that y'all can see what will be displayed in the church is this. That's how everybody would see it. They can hold it up and scan everything. And that just moves forward. Very simple. Now, for example, say you actually want to do this on your website. This is just as easy. Now, I don't have an example of doing this because I use Squarespace. But all you would do is instead of loading this onto a, um, a drive, you would just put the same file, the same name on a location on your website, and then you have the link for that. That's what you copy to Bitly, and that's the same thing that will work. Exact same process. So whoever makes it, they can still print it out for the people who still want one on hand, but the majority, just like you've seen re restaurants and everything, they've gotten away with printing out a menu. You come in and you scan it with your QR code, and that's pretty much it. So. Let me know if you have any other questions. Really, 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 really simple to do. Um, link is down below to everything that I use to do this. And let me know if you want me to try and do something else. Maybe I can mock up a cheap website just to show you the process, which really isn't that hard. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I got access to another church's website that I could do this if you really wanted me to do that. But the steps are exactly the same. So um, link is down below to everything that we talked about to make you have a um, QR code for your church program and you can get away from printing out all this other stuff and make it a lot easier for the majority of people who are kind of used to scanning QR codes and all that other fun stuff. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video later. <laughs>